what's up guys this is Trisha coming at you with another video um since I was you know kind of inspired by the last one I did um can it be poured I you know decided to stick with the wonky uh splatter type um abstract art um the pearl and the blue and the gold really seems to work well together in this piece I'm going to list the colors in the description box but by just off the top of my head I believe I did use the treasure treasures gold the folk art treasures gold um just the regular gold um there are two different types of gold and I believe this one was just like the regular gold um the blue is actually a mixture of three colors um and so this is why I said I would list it in the description box because um yeah I was experimenting to try to get a certain type of of blue um and sometimes you have to do that um, because it's not the color that you want and so I, I actually did mix a couple of colors most of them I believe were folk art colors I think mixed with one deco art color um and um, of course my metallic spray which is the splatter and the white that um I list that maybe everybody's not understanding what it is is the PBG that you can buy from Home Depot. If you go to the paint section, um it's on the same aisle as the Bears paint, at least in my Home Depot it is. Um there are some small paint cans um that are made by PPG. One is gold, one is silver. Now, these are actually just bases inside the can. You have to actually take it to um, the mixer to actually get the color it's intended to be, which I believe is a silver and a gold. Um, but when I bought this, I didn't know that you were supposed to actually take it to the register to get um mixed because it was strictly a base paint um so when I got home and I opened it I was like this doesn't look like silver but what I did discover is it's actually a beautiful pearl color beautiful pearl color um and it actually looks better than any pearl color that I know on the market as far as acrylic paints go. So this is why um, if you see white, more than likely, if you see a pearl white in my paintings, more than likely, it's it's probably the PPG that I use. I believe the can runs about 13 bucks. I'm not sure. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it runs about 13 bucks for that pint. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, sticking true to the theme um I just was doing whatever I felt um this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea um but it's a fun new way to just kind of play with abstract um pouring um you know to just kind of do what you want it's almost like a child um <laughs> scribbling on a piece of paper um except you know these you know um beauty is in the eye of the beholder um so, you know, it's, they're fun. Um, I think if you, if you, um, display them the right way, they're actually quite attractive. Um, and so, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do have pictures posted at the end and you will see three different shades purposely. Um, there's a natural lighting where there's no light shining on it at all. Um, except for the natural light coming from outside. This is so that you can see what the metallic actually looks like um, in different settings. Um, the soft light is actually in my dining room, um, so you can see what that looks like under soft lighting. And then I actually have the fl fluorescent light, um, fluorescent natural light, um, which is um, the more on the white, clear side. Um, and so that's why I photograph those that way. And I think from this point forward, I'm probably going to start showing you what it looks like in each different setting. So you can kind of get an idea of what it would look like if you decided you wanted this in your home. Um, or even if you just decide to paint it. But yes, thank you guys. As I always say, have a blessed day. 
have a blessed week have a blessed month have a blessed year um if you like this kind of content please subscribe um and until next uh, until next time i'll see you guys later